Hopefully this fourth short clip of seven about our optical advanced incubators will give you the information you need about getting the right humidity in an advanced machine. In the previous clip, we suggested you let the machine run for an hour without water or eggs in it. And that'll give you information about the ambient humidity. Note that the ambient humidity will vary as the weather changes. The humidity reading you also get when you initially turn on the machine will probably drop after an hour. Eggs take, hen eggs at least, take 21 days to hatch and between day 0 and 19 the humidity should be between 40 to 50 percent. So aiming for 45 percent is, is a good target. In the last two days before hatching that humidity needs to be raised to between 60 and 70 percent so 65 percent would be a good target. Although we recommend adding water to the incubator to achieve those targets there are a number of our customers who prefer to run the machines without water and you'll hear them talking about dry hatching. Um, it's actually less likely to work in areas where relative humidity is low and we'd recommend you start by working with water before trying to dry hatch. Anyway, having run the machine dry for an hour, um, you could add your eggs because one of the things you would notice is that over a period of time, um, the eggs themselves contribute some humidity. And that's especially the case as you get to hatching. Uh, humidity from hatching eggs will raise the humidity in the machine. However, um, what I would do is I would add water before I start adding my eggs. Um, and we control humidity in this machine by adding more or less water to the base of the machine. If you wanted to have complete control of humidity without adding water manually, you would purchase yourself um, a humidity pump um, and the humidity pump links into this machine and then from your control menu you can then set the humidity and the pump feeds the water in to give the humidity that you are targeting. So what we're going to do is uh, look a little bit more closely at how we um, add water to create the humidity we want in this machine. So I'm going to take the lid off I'm going to take the two trays out and what you'll see now is that in the Octagon 40 there are two rows here, two reservoirs, but actually divided into two sections. In an Octagon 20 it's literally half the size of the Octagon 40. So you have two reservoirs, in this machine you have four reservoirs, two rows. So what we aim to do is to fill um, the channels two thirds full. If you fill a channel more than two thirds full, the water will spill over into the rest of the base where it is likely to leak out and overflow onto tables because in the corners of these bases, there are holes. So any of the overflow of water will, will seep through the holes and out onto your table below. Um, what we do is to fill the um, water using a jug like this uh, and in the first 0 to 19 days we only want to fill one side. So here we go, I'm going to fill this to two thirds full here. It doesn't matter if it a little bit spills over, it's not the end of the world. No, that's about two thirds full. Okay. And if I pan in on this, you'll see what I mean. Hopefully it gives you an indication of how I fill the water to about two thirds full there. Also give you an indication of the little reservoirs the little holes in the corners I was talking about where the water can flow out from here and here if you're over full. 
So I fill that water two thirds full, and I've only done one edge, and that's what I would do from from zero to nineteen days. In terms of the ventilation on the machine, put the lid back on. And you'll see here, I have a little vent. So in order to achieve the right level of humidity, we can um, adjust that vent. Um, on the first kind of the first two, the first part of incubation up to day 19, you would have that vent normally about half halfway. But on day 19, when you um, want to increase the humidity, you fill the, the, all the reservoirs to two thirds full and you normally drop the vent down so that it's no more than a third open. Um, and that will, that will raise the humidity inside the incubator. The increased humidity is needed to prevent the membranes drying and hardening before the chicks fully emerge from the egg. And they do need some ventilation, so you can't actually, with this machine, it doesn't allow you to close it off completely. The guidelines that we offer for humidity are relatively simple, but tend to be quite effective in achieving the average 40 to 50 percent relative humidity during the first 19 days of incubation, and then that's 65 percent of humidity during hatching. However, with this machine, because you have here, as you can see, a humidity reading. Now notice how that's already gone up to 43% uh, by adding that water. Um, because you've got the humidity reading on here, you now have control in terms of how much water you add or take away to get to your target humidity. And you've got to remember that also what when going a bit above or a bit below is not the end of the world because what we're really after is an average of 44 percent humidity so don't panic if your humidity goes higher or it goes lower you adjust accordingly but what we're looking for is an average humidity the instructions in your box will give you more information more detailed information on humidity and how you can control it for optimal results by plotting actually something that uh, you'll hear referred to as a weight loss chart. We won't go that into that now, it, it will be the subject of another clip. Um, so with humidity set up ready for the eggs, in the next clip we will look at how to access and make changes to the settings in the menu.